Once your diagnosis has been confirmed, we then proceed to staging. There you're trying to establish how widespread your disease is because that impacts your treatment as well as your prognosis. Involved in that staging are some of the testing we previously described, such as the bone marrow and the CT scans and the PET scans. Stage one is one lymph node area. So in, for example, the side of your neck, you can have multiple nodes, but that's one lymph node area under your arm. Stage two is two or more lymph node areas, but on the same side of the diaphragm, either all above the diaphragm or all below the diaphragm. Stage three are lymph node areas, but involve both sides of the diaphragm. And stage four means it's going, gotten outside of the lymphatic system. So it doesn't involve just the lymph nodes, but also involves other areas, among the more common being the bone marrow. That's why we did the bone marrow testing and the liver, and we saw that on the CT and or PET scan. Other areas may be involved, such as skin, brain, bones, and many other tissues can be involved, but the most common by far are the liver and the bone marrow. Within each of the four staging systems, there's an A and a B. A means you're asymptomatic, so you have no symptoms from your, your lymphoma. B means you have B symptoms, and there are three of those. Fever, night sweats, or weight loss greater than 10%. And general B symptoms mean that you have either more aggressive disease or more widespread disease, and those will have impact on your treatment as well as your prognosis.